Hello everyone, I'm Herod Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining us here in our campaign of installing democracies all around Europe. I'm joining you with my cat, Herod Binky. So last time, we smashed the Maginot Line. Beautiful smashing, but we must be certain to keep in mind our fuel. Right now, the army takes about a good chunk of it, the air takes about the same amount, but the Navy takes a little bit as well. So, because of that, I'm going to request a thing of fuel from Iran. Why not? The Iranians aren't bad people. And we're building some more fuel reserves. We're building up a lot of forts around here that we don't need to build up anymore. Um, this, is, this was all good precautionary stuff. Yeah. We don't need this. Good build that. I don't want to build uh, infrastructure because that repairs automatically over time. Give me more refineries because we're going to need a lot more fuel for the amount of things that we're going to be building. Next up, uh, do I need any more factories? To a degree, yes. To a degree, no. Right now, I think we're pretty set on what we exactly need. Maybe except for artillery and, of course, super heavy tanks. But we don't have the tungsten for it. So really, the best thing that we could do... We could build more infrastructure, I suppose. If we build any infrastructure, there wouldn't be any place for me to get more tungsten, so that would be kind of a waste. I could build some more infrastructure to get some more oil, which actually isn't a bad idea. Can I get, I get two more oil in the end, not bad. Uh, put you all at the bottom. Yeah, definitely, I don't care about alsace Uh Or at least building forts or rebuilding forts, but more factories. The more factories you can do, or have, or build, the better off you will be. And I know I should be focusing more on, you know, military factories and dockyards, but that's not really our goal here. So, alright, so let's get our guys back to the front line. Let's redeploy the front line. I can't remember if we did or not at the beginning of the last episode. The tanks, I believe I'm going to do a small little encirclement there. They're doing great. They have Trickster, or at least Von Manstein does. An engineer, offensive doctrine with aggressive assaulter as well as a fortress buster. Oh, I love it. I just love it. Now, France, they're not close to capitulating. They're about 59%, not bad. The Italians are struggling against the common turn, which is fine, which is totally good for us, which I really want to see more of this struggle. Especially if the common turn tries to attack over a river into defensive boys. So, frankly, I'm liking what's happening right now. We'll, we'll probably lose Italy to communism, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, Italy, where are you? You're over here. 2.36 million have lost their lives to enemies, including us, but the Soviets have lost 3 million to Italy. Now, for the Soviet Union, that's basically nothing. They basically lost nobody. But it's good to see that they're still burning their equipment. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. But let's go ahead and make a tiny push. You guys should be able to win. Definitely, definitely should be able to. You're attacking over river. Yes, I know. That's bad. But these are super heavy tanks with plane support. You should be able to win. Come on, guys. I know you got this in you. I know you got it in you. I know we need a little bit more fuel. I ran. I'm going to call upon you just a little bit more. Good. Get the tanks in there. Yes, they does take quite a bit of tanks to kill these guys off, but that's okay. It's worth it to kill off six enemy divisions as well. Do not let these guys move. I cannot afford them to move. You guys, help attack here. Help hold the line for now. All I want is this tile. We did it. Good. Stop attacking. Let them starve. Let them panic. For that is what we should do. Uh, did I lose? I might have lost a few divisions here, actually. I might have lost four. Oh, low echelon support. Good. Awesome. Anyone have upgrades yet? Nope, that's okay. Uh, we might do that. It's 1943, so happy 1943. Let's get some more fuel refining because we have 300%, and usually this one takes forever to do anyways. Good. You know what, don't go that way. Just kill these guys off like that. Now you can do that. Beautiful. Yeah, don't move. I need to save up on fuel. Good. We're making Belgium thick. We're making, like, Burgundy or something here. Uh, now we want to play with the, the French a little bit more. They still have quite a few divisions. 
So we must come up with the best place to assault France. No, I'm not going to join your war against Japan. No, 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 no. You're crazy. Actually, they're guarded pretty darn well by a river around here. Is that a river right there? Maybe, maybe not. I might try to attack here. Oh, actually, attacking over here wouldn't be a bad idea. We could probably do an encirclement right here. Let's try the center area first, and then we will do an attack in the north. It, well, a successful attack in the north, really, should be said. But I'm joined here with a cup of hot, fresh, democratic coffee. Ah, very nice, very nice. Alright. Oh, government's in exile. I forgot. Yeah, we do have Indonesia. Daily exile man... Wait, do I get this? Or do they get this? I think they get it. Um, how does this work? I never remember how this works. Do I get their manpower or not? Exiled governments. So, daily exiled... I don't think I get that. We can use Indonesian exiled veteran manpower to recruit exiled air divisions and exiled veteran divisions. Um, looks like I'll probably go to war with Japan in the end, too. Do I have anything here? Ooh. Oh, I, you know what? You're right. I forgot about this, guys. Um, someone in my comments yesterday left me, told me that, Hey, you made the better cruisers. Why don't you use them? And you know what? You're right. Oh, long-range escorts. Very nice. Get some anti-air on these bad boys. Level 3 cruisers. Get some actual dual-purpose secondary guns on those. Get some pretty good armor, because we have enough stuff that we can do with that. Trade that away. Get a lot of anti-air, because you are doing a lot of the anti-air work. Um, you know what? Throw on the subs. Not the subs. Oh, you can't put torpedoes there. Hold on. No, I don't want it to be a heavy cruiser. That looks good so far. Can I remove that? Uh, I don't need two of those. What am I doing? That's right. Ah, uh, we'll put the torpedoes back on. Because why not? Great. Thanks for reminding me uh, from about that yesterday, guys. I appreciate that. Um, go to Vesper M's when you are done. Oh my goodness, we need so much chromium. I can't make anything without enough chromium. And we got better subs. Actually, subs should be pretty darn cheap to produce. Oh, yeah. Give me those torpedo boys. Oh, give me that radar. Oh, god dang it, I don't have enough. I got excited. I hate it when I get excited and I can't do anything about it. Hmm, not bad. Cool, let's do this next. I still want Hungary under me. Because once Italy dies, I'll take Hungary. <clears throat> I'll be able to puppet them and make them a proper democracy. Uh, rubber? I don't think we really need rubber, but let's do it anyway. So, large-scale motorization and aviation requires large amounts of rubber, of which we own no sources. <clears throat> We must improve the way we create it synthetically. Easy enough. Well, sounds easy enough. But, of course, German engineering is naturally the best engineering. Hello. Thank you. Oh, it sounds like Discord might be popping off again. Can you win, even though you're... Well, crud, boy. You did real great. Holy cow. Beautiful. Let them waste themselves on our line. Do not move. Do not move. Uh, we could try to go for Dijon. You know what? I'm, I'm going to do that. I could attack this way and maybe make an encirclement. But I want to attack this way first. Because I want to get over the river. I really, really want to get over that river as fast as possible. Nice. Very good. Look at that check division. Terrible. Beautiful. Ooh, actually. Let's make an encirclement in the south, perhaps. Oh, whoopsie. Hold on. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, guys. Alright, come on down south. Get a little bit more planning. Planning is really, really nice. Don't attack right now just because we want to make sure we save up our fuel on our tanks. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? There's a little bit of the French Navy there. Oh, they sunk a sub. Good job, guys. Good job. Alright, that's enough waiting. You should be able to attack them without too many losses. We got air superiority. I don't want to use force attack. Save a little bit of our command power for now. Uh, very nice. Basic submarine snorkel. Not really needed, but that's okay. I like it anyways. Heavy ship hull. Sound good to me. Good. You're doing great. Send the tanks in. Losses so far. We've lost how many to France? 111,000. Not terrible. Not bad. And then I'm going to immediately attack this way. Nope. Please do not move. If anything, 
Send half of you guys down south already. You guys should be slightly faster, uh, barely faster than tanks, or infantry, really. Good. Maintenance Company 3s. I need to throw those on my bad boys as well. Uh, I should have done this earlier. More artillery. Good job, guys. We have infantry down here. Yes, we do. Do that. Do that. And immediately head this way. Because infantry, I'll move half of them down here immediately. Uh, a small little encirclement in the south is always nice. Oh, actually we have to come up to here, which is fine. Please, thank you. You guys just come here. I'll send half of you to attack this direction as well. Three divisions, they're not going to probably be able to hold up against us. Hold, hold, hold. For now. You should be able to win. Give them a little more attack. Losses so far. Super heavy tanks. We're going to have a small stockpile. And I will make these 40 combat with, which will be extremely tanky boys when we're done here. Good job, guys. Good job. Now, with that in mind, I could try an assault this way. We would stretch out our lines quite a bit, but that's alright. Alright, you're gonna attack here. You're gonna attack here. Send the two tanks to attack here as well. They may be on a literal island, or close to an island. They're really, they were on a peninsula, but they all died. Ah, got a little bad coffee. Ah, beautiful. France, France, France. While this is what some would call a. This is not what some would call Blitzkrieg. I would still say we're doing pretty darn well. Especially as the Italians are not budging on their front line, which is great. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Oh, just waste away, guys. And just in case, we do have quite a few divisions over here. Um, I'm going to reorganize this. Holy cow. That's a, that's a few too many divisions. There you go. A massive front line, which is fine with us. I'd rather know what divisions you're producing. I'm probably going to raise conscription level after this, too. Yep. You really don't play a Germany campaign until you have to raise conscription two or three times. Oh, and you're probably going to need a general. Mm. Oh, Gottfried Witt Wittert von Hooglen. That's how we got last time. It's an exiled leader. Exiled divisions attack. Huh. Well, as much as I'd love to use them, I'd re prefer my own generals to get experience. God dang. Vader. Von Lieb. Yodel. Well, you're minus 25%. I would choose Yodel because he's only minus 10%. Alright, you guys are good to go. Give him the gusto. Take half of you guys to attack with him anyways. That'd be good. We can attack them. They can't pierce us, but we can pierce them. We're attacking over river, but the tanks don't care. The tanks literally just don't care. Come take that, too. And they'll do another encirclement, too. Oh, fuel refining. Good. Let's get some modern oil processing. That'll be important. Muy importante. Very nice. Very nice. Good. Stop your movement. Because then we're going to attack there next. Let our guys get reorganized. I don't want to attack when we don't have organization or stuff like that. You know what? I might attack here instead. Yeah, just come up that way. Uh, four divisions? Yeah, you can help attack this way. Yeah, it's over a river. That's okay. They're mostly distracted by us, just annihilating them. Uh, it's not too much of an encirclement. It's like 12 divisions or so. And that's okay. Cool. Attack them from this side. You don't want to attack over a river. There's kind of a river there already. God, whoever suggested me using super heavy tanks, I'm having a lot of fun with them. A lot of fun. This guy's really, Heinz Guderian's really good at planning. Holy cow. What are you using? That one, you know, land doctrine? Oh, I think Heinz Guderian's using a uh, grand battle plan. Can't remember the name of that anymore because I play way too much Old World Blues at the current moment of this recording, and that's okay. Streamline line versus 
Flexible line. I prefer flexible line today, because why not? Uh, you might as well come over there. It's fine. Thanks, you did a great job. One more encirclement. Before I do a general... I'm Before I try, maybe a general push. Thank you very much. Our fuel supply is going very well. Um, Netherlands? Um, guys? What are you doing? They did Volk in Vaderland. Oh my goodness. Alright, so actually, you know what? I'll be right back so we don't hear any more Discord pings. My apologies, everybody. I didn't mean for that to happen. Um, I guess some would say yeah, maybe I'm still a little bit of a Discord noob, but whatever. So, let's go and keep throwing on more divisions to where they need to be placed. Good, 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 good. Ah, uh, where are these tanky boys? Tanky boys. Ah, uh, my panzers. And we're doing pretty well on fuel. I'm really liking how much fuel, fuel we are currently getting. Now, in the end, really, the scope of this campaign is to have a EU, a European Union, and my goal is maybe take European Russia. I might just leave the shell of Russia, you know, Asia Russia over there. Maybe? Actually, probably not. I'm at war with Japan, and the only way for me to get over there is to go through Russia, so... We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll leave two rushes. But let's go ahead and do naval air effort. The eff efficiency or efficacy of airstrikes against naval targets was demonstrated by the Americans way back in 1921. We should not neglect this branch of the Air Force if we intend to wage war on a naval power. Absolutely. The best navy is an Air Force. Heard it here first. Can they pierce me? No. I can, I can pierce, pierce their tanks too. They're running out of divisions or supplies, which I love, 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 love. Now, this is only five guys around here, but that's okay. Uh, purge Indonesian infiltrators. Democracy support. How democratic are they? Extraction campaign. Uh, I could do that. Eh, we'll see what happens. Might as well. I mean, it only costs command power. I don't use it that much. Government's in exile. But I do want more manpower for myself right now. Magnet detector. Magnetic detector. A death charge mortar. Good. I'm liking what we're seeing. The tank come back. Nice. Go ahead and help him out. Very good. Very good. Very, very, very good. Good. They're all dead. Select all. Hold. Next up. One more encirclement. I feel like I want one more. Maybe something small. Maybe like right here. Unless... We come over to Trois. Troya? Troya? I do not speak French. I've never spoken French, maybe except for one year in high school. Uh, we'll do that. We'll cut them off there. That might be enough to kill off the French. I don't know. Let's see what happens. It's not like we have that much to do after we kill off France, to be frank with you. Um, we still have to kill off Italy, but I like to see the grind here. The huge grind between these two nations. I love it so much, as I've already said before. Better artillery, good. The Soviets are nearly 5 million losses. Keep grinding away, guys. You're doing a great job. Uh, actually, we're done with land doctrine, I believe. Naval stuff, good. Um, yeah, uh, electric torpedo, because why not? Tanky boys. Get down there, get down there, get down there. Supplies. I definitely want more super heavy tanks in time. Three, two, good enough for me. And then take one off, and then immediately attack that way. Give them a little more attack right now, though. And send half the infantry to help them out. Ah, oh, they just melt. Good. And if they need a little bit more support. Oh, hello. I'm joining you by my cat who's decided to sit here on the chair with me now. Cool. Looks like we got some more infantry. The line isn't moving, and now it slowly, slowly is. Ah, oh, thick boys. I love them. All right. Oh, good. You built. You did great so far, guys. Oh, but we. Oh my gosh, yes. Build three of those. Build more of these, just because I want as much production power as po possible. Build that, 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 and then maybe focus on more military factories. Maybe. Hmm. And always more refineries. Good. We got enough for another. Uh, army. 
Oh, did you guys lose or something? Oh, no, you didn't. They just look weird. Good. Good job, guys. Appreciate all of your efforts. I really do. Are they starving yet? I'll give them a few days. I'd, as long as I don't take that many casualties, we'll be doing pretty darn well. And then again, I just attacked over a river, but whatever. Good! French losses. Pretty pretty nice. 2.45 million. Ooh! Japan declared war on British Malaya. Oh, god dang. China looking thick. It extended its southern border. Holy cow. Um... Does that put the Allies now at war with Japan? Are they actually going to do something? Yes. 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 Don't get involved, though. Cool. Occupied territories. Um, I'm going to go ahead and raise my conscription level. That'll be important. Okay, one more. One, one more tiny encirclement. Just one more. Just one more. I really want to make sure that we do okay. But like I said, there's really no point to just waste away as fast as possible unless the representative Dominican Republic was puppeted. 1940 ship. Who are you a pup? Hello, United States. I guess... Ah, uh, the United States already went to war with these guys. Now, Adolfo de la Huerta is the leader. And then FDR is... Well, he's spending a lot of money. They're out of manpower. Holy cow. Oh, that's not good. Good, good, good. Monstein. I love using Monstein so much. Just playing with our food here. Now, the Netherlands will flip to fascism. We might get a possible war goal against them in the end, which I'm okay with. Because uh, we control all states, all Dutch states. Come on, I want all tanks up here. Actually, you're right here. That's actually probably better. Three, two, good enough for me. Take all three. Take you guys. Attack here. But the tanks followed up with that. We'll immediately move there and then... Good. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Another general. Reinhardt. Ah, Steiner. Anything? No. Tanks, how are you doing? You are now finally progressing to annihilate the enemy. Absolutely. Go ahead and send half you guys this way. You're going to need it. Nope. Nope. Not going to go to with Japan right now. I would really wonder if I can get two rushes. That's probably not possible. It's okay, though. Good. No, guys. You don't need to move. We're going to attack Cherbourg. Ah, yes. Yes. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Um. No, oh, okay. Very nice. Send the tanks in in a few seconds. Alright, let's go all the way over here. We should have enough divisions to help hold the line right now. Ah. Uh, you know what? Actually, come to there. That would work better. So that this way they can't escape. Uh, don't pull a Dunkirk on me. And... Hold on, who's not giving me my goods? Why are you playing around with me like that, man? Ah! Yes, another super heavy tank. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Yes, yes, I know I have low manpower. Now we should have enough strength to do a general push. I will lead with the tanks in the no north. They'll conquer Brittany. Let everyone get reorganized real quick. And we must take a look at this. We need a few more super heavy tanks because it takes so much to produce. And I really want them to be 40 combat with. We need more artillery so we can make them my infantry 7-2 because that I just love the attack on those guys. Good. Ah, oh, modern oil processing. Good. Let's get some more extraction. Or ex excavation, I should say. Iran, thank you for your service, but I don't think we need you in the current moment anymore, because now I'm going to trade for a little bit more chromium. Nice. Good, this is looking nice. Um, we're actually producing some ships, which should be done soon enough. Let's 
Everyone planning. God dang it. I don't think we have enough. Oh man, I think the... What is going on here? So I'm happy you guys this way as well. I want to do a general push, but it seems like they're getting... They have a lot of divisions around here. <clears throat> Good. Oh, that's, that's infantry. Take Nantes. Cut off Brittany from the rest of the, the mainland. I'll use the tanks to push into Brest. Good. Give them like three seconds and I'll push. Three. Two. One. And we're off. Cool. Uh, I, I really don't want to do either one of these yet. I want Hungary to capitulate first. There's nothing we can do on the right, so it's time to build, build, build if possible. Let's do some construction engineering. So, let's do that for now. I'm going to give you more force attack. Wait, no, no, no. I want everyone this way. Help them out with the battle down here. Help them out with the battle, then they'll shatter. Then we can just move to Brest. Probably. Good. This will take quite a few super heavy tanks, but that's okay. It's worth it in the end. 5.11. Nice. 2.73. Less than a quarter, about a quarter million. It's really about a quarter million. Good. Move in, move in. Tanks are doing a great job. Take the capital. They're attacking us? Yeah, they kind of are attacking us. Nice. Redeploy the front line here. And then we will do a general push, I promise. Oh my goodness, how many divisions are here? 18. That's nice. Uh, let you guys help attack here, too. That'll reduce all the damage we take on our tanks. Good. You can hold. Oh, France. I'm just toying with you at this point. Alright. Good job, tanky boys. They're gonna help lead the attack down here, and then once they get over there, and we have enough tanks to attack, we shall unleash hell on the French. Good. And supply apparently isn't very good because some of our divisions are just kind of hanging out. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Now, I don't want to move my ships around because I don't really feel secure around this part. Bay of Biscay. Losses. Tell me what's going on. 28? 128? Good. Good. After this war, I will make my infantry even stronger. But, in the meantime, you guys... I want max planning. For a giant general push, we must have max planning. So you guys are ready. But these tanky boys... 3.5% a day. It's not bad. Not great. But not bad. 14. I'll give you 5 seconds. 5. 3. 4. 1. I don't care anymore. Give the tanks more push. They're going to need help push across the river. Yeah, you guys are already attacking, which is nice. But you're not attacking like crazy as much as I wanted you to. Um, well, I guess to each their own. Nice, very good, very good. We're getting defeated in some locations. Italy, you're soon going to have another border to defend. Oh, the Soviets are slowly pushing in. We might divide Italy in half depending on what happens. Good, good, good. Ah, flexible line, very nice. Rubber sounds nice as it needed, though. Australia seeks distance from the Commonwealth. Interesting. We get some more dispersed fighting. Good. The tanks are just rolling on in. France is soon to capitulate. There are nearly three million dead. And we've suffered roughly a quarter. Roughly a quarter. Ah, German engineering at its finest. Oh my gosh, if we can take this, cut these guys off, that'll be a nice small encirclement. And, any second. I love how much air experience I'm getting. Nice, very good, very good. Super heavy tanks lead the way. Beautiful, just, mwah, tasty. Now I will lead with the tanks. I should actually probably, oh, oh, okay, great. So that ends the campaign against the French, the Austrians, and Greater Hungary. So, um, because of the peace deal, I'm not going to give too much to anyone, but we're going to hold a democratic vote, and the people voted already. I don't know if you knew we already had elections, and I just, yeah, Austria. They've voted to join the, the uh, almost said Reich, the Bundesrepublik. 
following. Hungary? Yeah. Um, don't really think... Oh, well, Czechoslovakia, first of all. You should get Southern Slovakia. That'll be good. <sighs> Obviously, I gotta take alsace lorraine And to promote democracy... The common turn will get what? Wait, is Italy in this peace deal? No, they're not. I don't want to give the common turn really much anything. Here's what we'll do. Spain. Um, you can have that part, too. You can have all this ugly stuff. There you go, Spain. You know what? You can have this, too. I know I'm giving them rubber and stuff, but uh, that'll actually make Spain look a little nicer. See, now that's nice. Now that's nice. Uh, you know what, Spain? I'm feeling generous. There's communist influence in Africa, you're saying? I think there is. Quite a bit. Uh, mm, yeah, yeah, I think this belongs to Germany as well. Yeah, that this this obviously belongs to Germany as well. Uh, Hungary. I said I wanted to puppet them. Supervised state, a collaborationist government. Yeah. And I will and put on sanctions on France. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead, and for now, we're going to just take this over for administrative controls. Uh, I'm going to take this over as well for <clears throat> administrative controls, as well as this part of China. Uh, I think that would be very nice for now. Um, I don't want to release any African nations, so I'll take that for now. And because we incurred a lot of debt, you know, from France, I'm going to give Belgium this region for now. For now, in time, they will give this back. But for the rest of that... Yeah, common turn, you'll get a lot of Italy, probably. Nice! So, so and we want to make sure that the people are properly represented in Austria because they chose to completely ally with us. Uh, I love the Bundesrepublik. Now, Comintern will probably get most of Italy, to be honest with you, which is fine. Uh, this might be a little bit too large. Give that back to them. Nice. Good job, Belgium. Oh, we got some more military factories. Good. I'm going to make some more... What do I need? I need some more super heavy tanks. Really. But need more artillery as well. Do that. Do that. Ask for more t Okay, the US joined the Allies. Good, I guess. I mean, that's fine with me. I don't really care. Get one more of those. Get one more of these. And who's trying to raise its autonomy? France and Hungary. Ah, yes. And it is time for us to choose the last focus for us. Integrate war economies. The nations in our sphere of influence have grown to have extreme economic dependencies upon us. We could use this to increase our economic control, or increase our control in general over their economies and our influence on their foreign policies. But that's all the time for that we have today, my friends. Uh, tomorrow, we shall smash Italians and maybe divide up some of our... Spoils of war. Anyways, thanks for uh, viewing, guys. Viewing. Watching the video. If you did, like the video. Maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all tomorrow as we continue to exert our influence on our undemocratic people. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.